Greetings everybody. We are team number 73, Team Ants. We did this project under the supervision of Dr. Satnam Kaur Ma'am and Dr. Ramkishan Sir. Starting on with the introduction of our team. My name is Tanya and I'm from ENC 6 batch. My name is Ankush and I'm from ENC 1 batch. Myself Nishant, I'm from ENC 1. My name is Suyash Garg, I'm from ENC 1 batch. To give you an overview, the aim of our project is to solve the uh, problems related to traffic congestion and to optimize the current traffic light system. So let's start with some major issues and stats related to this issue. The primary cause of traffic congestion is that the traffic lights do not show the time according to the existing traffic conditions. And uh, the time settings based on on-peak and off-peak traffic lights are not enough to handle the unexpected uh, situations. Also, as per the recent statistics, 80% uh, increase in fuel consumption is there because of the traffic congestion problem. Also, the traveling time has increased by the factor of four. Now, uh, delayed healthcare is again one of the major uh, issue that is uh, that happens because of the traffic congestion problems. Uh, these are some of the stats that 50% uh, heart attack cases uh, reach hospital late because of traffic. So, uh, this is again one of the major issue. Also, building new roads are required to address this issue, but it is not a cost-effective solution. So our vision is to increase the efficiency of traffic lights and setting the timer by using machine learning algos as per the traffic congestion situation on any particular side of the road. Uh, the working of our project. So what we have done is we will capture uh, an image of the road on each side of the intersection and we'll pass it to our object detection module to get the number of vehicles on different sides of the intersection. For image detection, we have used the OpenCV module. The uh, functions that we have used for our data pre-processing involves the resize function, uh, which is used to reduce the size of the image for faster processing. The grayscale function, uh, which is used to convert the image to black and white, uh, for the simplification of our algorithm, the median blur function, here the central element of the image is replaced by the median of all the pixels. And this is the operation which is done to remove the noise. Uh, then we have used the canny edge detection function and it's a technique used to extract useful structural information from different vision objects. Uh, the last function that we have used is the dilate function, which increases the size of the bright areas or the edges uh, of any image. Uh, now, uh, for time calculation, we have used the slab method. Uh, so a slab will consist of a set of numbers with a lower and an upper bound, making slabs and dividing the number of cars based on slabs and allocating appropriate time can be done to make the congested traffic flow more smoothly. So the side with the maximum number of cars is prioritized uh, and uh, this will keep the traffic efficient, smooth and fair. The major libraries which we have used are TensorFlow, NumPy, OpenCV, Pillow and Keras. These are all the Python libraries. Now we'll run our model. Upon running the model, we can see on the left side of the screen, we have given the screenshot of the number of cars detected on each side of the load. Uh, now we can see that the maximum number of cars are on the intersection 4. So first we'll take the intersection 4 and uh, give it a green signal for 60 seconds. Uh, basically we are take, considering that if 2 seconds will be taken for each car to pass on. But if we are taking all the 54 cars, it will take 100, more than 100 seconds, which will be a lot more time for the rest of the intersections to wait. So what we are doing is we are giving 60 seconds to this intersection. So the first 30 cars which we, are take, which we have taken as the passing cars can pass on that side and the rest of the sides can also go green. So after the 60 second timer, uh, we'll take the second side, which is side three, because it is the second maximum number of cars. And here also we have run, we have uh, we have set it green only for 40 seconds, and only 20 cars are passing if, during this time period. For the side two, also same things are, are happening. 
and for the side one also there are 28 cars so we have taken 20 cars are passing in 40 seconds now we again have to go to those intersections where the number of cars are already standing over there so we'll go to first side three side three have 18 cars remaining so first we'll take the 18 cars and uh, 18 cars can pass through in 36 seconds so we won't take the time of complete 40 seconds but only 36 seconds will work over here Uh, now we are taking the side four. Side four is having 24 cars, but for the 24 cars, again, we have to wait for a much longer time. So we'll give time to 20 cars and wait. Uh, the rest four cars have, have to wait for the rest of the time. Now we are taking the side two, which is having 16 cars remaining. Uh, in the 30 second, these 16 cars can pass easily. Now we have taken again side four, side four, which is giving uh, 10 seconds. This is the edge, uh, this is one of the edge case which we are using. Uh, basically, if you have a number of cars which are less than uh, which are less than five, so we are giving a minimum time of 10 seconds to each side so that even if there's any condition or something, it can be resolved. And for the side one, again, we have eight cars left, so 16 seconds will solve the issue. Thank you for your time.